I'm Christina and tonight I'm going to talk to you about the Rangutan, the fastest load tester uh, on the market. Together with my husband, we have a DevOps consulting company for more than three years now. And since, since September, we've been working on our first product, Rangutan, which is basically a novelty kind of a load testing platform. What does it do more exactly and what problem solves? Well, well, basically, we won't let this happen to your website because even though they are paying customers, they could end up destroying your entire store and no one will, able, will be able to buy anything if you forget about testing its capacity. So here is our, our solution, the first SaaS load testing platform, 100% serverless, which helps you simulate workflows to emulate user experience. So basically with Rangutan, you will know all the time how many users your platform supports and what to do in case of fluctuations. Most importantly, you will finally be able to test uh, only some segments of the platform, defining the tests exactly for your customer's behavior. Here is our identity. And this is what makes us different. Basically, it's our technology that is 100% uh, serverless and API driven. Uh, our feature, and I will talk in a few moments about them, you save time and basically you save your clients time and their money. What kind of features? Well, unlike uh, any other load testing platforms on the market, Rangutan allows you to use information from Google Analytics, uh, Facebook Pixel, Hotjar and any other user experience apps to design test workflows that simulate live user uh, behavior. We want a future IE-based version of Rangutan that could detect and, and analyze and suggest the best workflows for you to test without making any assumptions about your, uh, your user experience, basically. What kind of other features? With Rangutan, you also connect. You share results, uh, results with your team, reports, and also edit tests together. Let's talk about money. How much money can you save? Basically, our standard subscription will be less than 50 euros and gives you enough support and test credits so you don't have to, to spend money on training someone from your team uh, or to hire someone already certified on, test to, on testing tools. Here are the result, results of our proof of concept version built for Startup Spinner 2019, uh, where we won the, the second pl uh, place. Uh, so we did all this only with $15. Here is our uh, ideal customer. Basically, we're targeting IT professionals from small and medium-sized IT businesses. And we're targeting PMs as well because the platform is accessible enough to see uh, results and reports anytime uh, you want. You can see in the right corner there uh, the market size for last year. It was 40 billion. Um, and uh, as you can see, one of the expected grow, uh, growth drivers is the fact that other disciplines start using testing tools, such as DevOps, for example. This is what we need uh, for uh, infrastructure and for developing the improved version. This is what we offer uh, and the opportunity to be part of a disruptive wave of IT innova uh, innovation that's already here. Uh, why we call it disruptive? Because uh, with Rangutan, we want to change the way the load testing industry is perceived. Um, firstly, we craft enterprise type feature available finally for small and medium sized companies. And secondly, we want to change the adoption pattern of new technologies from the classic top down to end user decision maker. Our official launch will be next month because the platform is already created. We're just working now on the front end part and the final tests. And we have uh, three partner companies that are testing it uh, at the moment. This is us. And uh, uh, here is how you can reach us. Thank you. Alex, eu nu te aud. Dacă vorbești, nu te aud. Uh, with your five minutes.
Now, uh, another five minutes will begin, which is uh, with uh, questions and answers. Who uh, starts first? Uh, so we, we do not have an order, but we'll make sure that by the end, each and every one. Who starts first? Uh, Vlad, please. OK, so thank you for the demo. Congrats on the idea of the product. It's indeed a very interesting one. Uh, what I wanted to know is how do your tests work? I assume they work with loading various pages from the website based on Google Analytics. Hi, uh, this is Marius. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm the brains behind the application, so I think I'll be able to answer your question. Okay, please go ahead. Um, we uh, use uh, the logic of rendering the web page each and every time you create a test case because we use workflows for each and every step inside that workflow. We generate the web page and we give uh, the outcome of request response times, average, minimum, or maximum, and all of those details through a web-based client. So the page one, the page is generated. Second, the results are published. OK, so you are using something like Puppeteer to render the page just like a browser would. What I'm interested in, uh, so where was I getting at, is uh, are you able to test applications that aren't page reloads on every click, like progressive web applications, if you're thinking about the Gmail interface and how, how you click through it. There we are su API we currently there. support web sockets, we support APIs, and we support uh, static pages. So anything that can be reachable through a URL can be tested. OK, so possibly with progressive web apps, you would re-render each of the pages, but you wouldn't benchmark the transition from one to the other. Okay. Uh, yeah, for instance, when you're doing, I don't know, infinite scrolling, uh, mm -hmm. we can't support that yet because it means we have to uh, create uh, a, a regeneration. However, we do support the fact that uh, scrolling in a infinite scroll page means doing an Ajax post request. So all you have to do is just do another post request in, our, in your step workflow. Okay, sounds good, thank you. And you mentioned in your slides pricing. Have you decided on how to price the product or what met metrics you would base the price on? We've decided on using a credit system that is uh, based on the amount of tests, the amount of concurrent uh, regions that you're testing from, and the amount of IPs. Uh, I can give you a sneak peek and Basically, you can do for 50, less than 50 euros a month, you'll be able to do uh, around 1,500 tests from 15 different concurrent regions with 10 IPs on, in a different region. So you can reach 6 million requests per second while doing a load test from 15 regions that has 10 public IPs in each region. We can... Uh, and if you don't understand what 6 million means, Spotify has I know. 3 million. You, you uh, can crash any website. It's okay. Minute. <laughs> Size. So yeah, we can break pretty much everything. We won't break Facebook, but we'll make sure we can break pretty much anything else. OK, thank you. We have time for one more question. Please, Molina. Why would the company pay on a monthly basis? I mean, once they finish test loading, uh, uh, load testing, sorry, uh, their whatever application website, uh, why do they need to pay on a monthly basis? The logic behind this decision is the disruptive logic of the application itself. We're trying to switch the mind shift of not doing load testing just behind before Black Friday, but doing uh, load testing after each and every release. The logic of that is that each and every change to your code, be it database or code, can cause optimization problems. So because you can, and because you can do virtually unlimited tests per month with our subscription, you'll be able to do uh, to, and because it's API based, you can integrate it easily in your CI CD deployment plan and just do a test each and every time you deploy your application. Mm -hmm.